Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kate. And I'm Alex. And we are back with some Croatian goodies. It's a first. Woohoo! Yeah, our parents recently went on a trip to Croatia, so we asked them very nicely if they wouldn't mind picking us up some snacks. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is what they've got us. Although you've been to Croatia, so do yeah. you not recognize any of these or were you not snacking? I don't recognize any of these. When we were there, we did get a couple crisps and like some chocolate things, but I don't recognize any of this at all. But I oh! bet if you went and you were there. Oh, I would now see these. What? Oh, what? So what? So I'm trying to finish my sandwiches. I thought you were saying, I, I, I bet haven't if even you put went the bread out I... yet. Um, <laughs> What? I've just made Trying it up. Trying to finish my sandwiches and I haven't even put the bread out yeah. yet. <laughs> but if you saw like Cheetos, which you quite often do internationally, you probably would pick up Cheetos. We picked up the Cheetos. Yeah, of course you did. Lie. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that, but we did. We do no, try and get well. local no, well. snacks, but yeah. sometimes when you see the Cheetos, you just got to go for it. Yeah. Although I'm a bit gutted, they didn't bring back a bottle of their famous orange soda, which is called. Pee pee. Pee pee. <laughs> Which me and Holes had a good laugh at. Yeah, me and Mum and Holes yeah. had a good laugh at. It's a funny one though, because it's like an orange soda, which mm. is kind of like a kid's drink. But like the way she, so it's like this like, almost like pinup girl. She looks really? like she's from um, Grand Theft Auto in a oh, way, yeah. that sort of style. Yeah. And like, she's holding two oranges a bit like, you suggestively. know. Suggestively. Suggestively yeah. in front of the boob area. And you get that at like restaurants if you ask for orange Yeah, so I drink. said like the first time we were like, oh, do you have like Fanta? And they said, yeah. oh, we've got local pee pee. <laughs> local pee pee. <laughs> Which at first you're like, the local oh, guys pee pee. Not we want any pee pee. Yeah. No. And then it came and yeah. So we'll have to put a photo because it's funny that that's their brand. I think we try source one before the next box. I know. Like, like, I'm surprised she didn't bring us yeah. any back. Wild. Maybe she could give us a bottle of her pee pee. <laughs> <laughs> There's too many. No, thank you. Shall we crack in yes, with some Chris? Which yeah. one would you like to go for first? Um, I reckon Bobby. Do you think they got this solely because it says Bobby? Yeah, definitely. Little Bobby rings. Oh. If you're from Croatia, you'll have to let us know if they've picked up a complete random selection of weird stuff or actually if this is pretty good local stuff. It smells. Yeah, it? very strong. It's, what I are think they? This sour is cream. Be like sour cream and either onion or chive. Interesting. That's like a sour cream, yeah. and then that's onion, but onion. then that's like chive. So we shall see. Maybe it's sour cream, onion, and chives. The Olympic. Yeah, rings. Mmm. Light and flavour. Do you like them? No. Mmm. I find the flavour a bit odd. It kind of tastes like um, corn. It's corn. I know it's a corn it's snack, corn but snack, yeah. sometimes you can't taste it very well. Mmm, I like them. That flavour's very odd. Yeah. Wow. It's like creamy and spring oniony. I also really like the texture. Mm. I really like them. I think they're really nice, soft, light flavour. I like the crunch and the softness of it. They'd be so good with a sandwich and like soup. Not for you though? Not for me still. I'm no. giving them a solid eight out of 10. I'm gonna give them a solid three out of 10. A three? Yeah, three, I really. You dislike them that I really much? really dislike them, yeah. Deary me, really that's odd. very... I find them really odd. Don't worry, Bobby. You find them really odd? Really odd, yeah. They're just like a spring onion-y... I don't think they taste like spring onion, really? yeah. You're not getting your hands in there, no, then they're, they're, they're all mine, mum and dad's then. <laughs> Keep them away from me. Well, hopefully you have better luck with these. Yeah, Chio. Tip top Cubics ketchup. Now these look good. We've had a ketchup chip in like the Cubic... Hmm. Pattern before. Is it from Canada? Don't know, but I wonder like who thinks, oh, this is a, a great form of eating a, yeah. a ketchup. Natural flavouring, no artificial colours, no flavour enhancers. Oh, tasty, good. tasty. These are like those vegetable straws. Yeah. And are they from Australia? Or are they from here as well? Well, the kids' ones you can get from here. Mm. But the veggie straws are from Australia, aren't they? Any better? Better, yeah. I wish the ketchup flavour was stronger. Mm. The ketchup that I can taste is lovely. It's yeah, just, I just not wish enough. There was more. Because what's nice about ketchup is the kind of vinegariness, mm -hmm. tartness of it. What is nice though is there's also a bit of sweetness to the ketchup. Mm. I like that. That one was full of flavour. But Maybe it depends which one you get. That is what I find with these cube straw things. I never find that there's enough flavour. Yeah. So I think with the crisp, you get it on all sides, whereas this you just get it on the outside. See, that one I just had had quite a lot of flavour, mm. but. When you I've look had some in, that you have can had like almost no flavour. Some that are more flavoured than others. I like them though. Mm. They are nice and they're definitely Moorish. They're only really going just above Bobby though, because like the like you say, the flavour's not really. They're going well above Bobby for me. Yeah, I know. They're going eight and a half for me. 
Can I go in seven for me? Bobby's still delicious in my eyes. I'm worried about your eyes <laughs> and your taste buds. I love like onion rings though. You're probably yeah, thinking like that onion. they should be like really oniony, but... Oh, I don't think they taste like sour cream either. Mm. I wish they were like creamy and chivey and yeah. stuff like that. Should we go bonko? Go bonko crazy. We have got some sweeties here. Oh, how funny. It says fruit toffee. Candit is the brand. And that says vanilla, but I don't know what that says. So what is this unless, just oh, vanilla? Oh, unless it's strawberry and vanilla. Look, there's a straw there. Or is that a banana? No. It says caramella, something caramella. That's toffee fruit. fruit. Yeah. But then it just says vanilla. Which one we but that definitely up? looks like strawberry and it vanilla, does, yeah. doesn't it? Oh, we can crack in. Strawberry and vanilla. And I reckon mum picked these up because she wanted she some. She wants one. They smell fantastic from there. They do smell excellent, don't they? Sorry. It smells like bubble gum. Mmm, wow. It is a sweet, right? Not. Yeah. So it's like a roll, isn't it? It's yeah. been done in layers and then rolled over and then chopped. Mm. Amazing texture. More in like Starburst. They're all different flavours, don't mm -hmm. you? This is nice because like in Starburst, my favourite is the strawberry. So it's like just get a and bag. You can just get a whole bag of that. Although, there's a weird flavour. I think that's for the vanilla. Oh no, look. Have you seen his hat? Vanilla it's two pods. vanilla pods. <laughs> really? I should have tried to do it as like um, eyebrows. That would have been Wow. Funny. Even though there's a bit of a weird flavour in there, mm. as a whole, I really like them. I really like them. Really delicious. The um, texture on them is so nice. And um, at Lovely the chew. end, didn't you think they kind of gave off like a, a high chew yeah. sort of texture? Kind of vibe, yeah. Mm. When you have like a, a sweet like that, that's what you want. It was a bit like a Starburst chew, but it it lasted longer than a Starburst. Yeah, and the strawberry flavour in it is really nice. The yeah, flavors. really nice. What are you giving out of 10? I'm going to give an eight out of 10. I think it's really good. Yeah, I'm going to give texture, eight and a half. Good texture, good fruity flavour. Yeah. Funny, someone um, mentioned about our Starburst recently and said that they didn't think our Starburst had like much flavour. Mm. Maybe that's a good one to do next time we're in America. Starburst versus our Starburst, because here we've got a lot of rules on colorings and flavorings so i wonder if it's because they're used to a lot more like sugar and flavorings that could be another one for snack showdown yeah mm. another snack showdown i just didn't even think about that one when i was there their green is apple our green is lime, lime. even though apparently theirs used to be lime as well oh and we have black, black currant. currant yeah oh that's like the best one the best ever one, yeah. yeah we'll have to try those right are we going yogurt and finish on chocolate i think yum gum Yummy yeah. gummy, yum gummy. Roshin, is that how you say it? Roshin. Roshin. Juice Roshin. and yogurt. Frozen yummy. yogurt. Yummy. We've had juice and yogurt before from, wasn't it Trader Joe's and it was the mango, mango, mango madness or something. Oh. And these look like, yeah. they, they're like ice, ice cream. cream. Where are they from? What do you mean? Just the way that it's got a thing attached. Usually that's because it's actually oh, yeah. from another place. Moldova. Moldova. Where's that again? That's another like European country, for, like the East. Oh, these are cute. I think we've got a few flavours in here, Al. I like it when they're this like creamy. Me too, but hearing yogurt makes it healthy. I don't think yogurt's necessarily a bad thing when it comes to these. Yeah, but sometimes it takes the creaminess out. Yogurt is creamy. What shape are they? Oh, it's an ice cream. Mm-hmm. It's a bit That's of like a they're three, um, strange scoops. shape. <laughs> and then what's the bit around the middle? That's like the cone, like a cone goes like the McDonald's cones go kind of oh, in right, and then. Yeah. Can you taste the flavour difference? No. Not really a lot of flavour in them, is there? Maybe they're just meant to be like a light. And just like milky. Yeah. You know in our um, randoms? Yeah. We've got like the milkshake strawberries. Mm. thought it was going to be like that. I thought it was going to be kind of like that. They're kind of like a mild milkiness flavour, but I feel like I can taste the colour. A little bit like, oh, I can taste there's a chemical in there. Mm. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I thought the chew on them was going to be better. They're like a little bit rubbery, yeah. aren't they? I kind of thought with the yogurt, the, the texture would yeah. be different as well. And with yeah. the juice, I thought they were going to be quite fruity. Mm. Like Trader Joe's has some like natural juice sweets and yeah, they're and actually been, quite yeah. fruity, aren't they? Oh, the Trader Joe's gummy bears are so mm. good. I saw someone make a hamper for someone the other day and they had those in. And I was like, oh, oh, oh this beautiful thing. Caroline Mealy Artist. Do you remember really? her? Yeah. Her daughter she on her birthday got COVID. Oh, okay, cool. and last but not least, we have, I believe, Croatian's take on Marvelous Creations. Don't you think? Yeah. Or is this actually just got Smarties in it? Candy. 
Confettino galaxy. galaxy. Milk chocolate. Now, mum apologises because they waited <laughs> to like the last day to buy this. They had such a hot holiday and on the last yeah. day it got up to 40 degrees C, which isn't 40 degrees over 100. Oh, 104, yeah. Wow, that is hot because you remember that time we were in LA and the car said 104, didn't it? Or no, 101. And remember the um, air conditioning had broken. Yeah, and we had to go to Bob Hope and Airport. We, and we were in a little... Um, like ice cube I, box. Nissan ice cube, wasn't was it? it? Actually, a yeah. Nissan ice cube, wasn't it? And then Although we, it wasn't an ice cube, it was so hot. It was so hot. We had to go to Bob Hope Airport because that was like the yeah. closest... We had two hopes, Bob, Bob Hope, Hope and, and no, no Hope. It was funny because they said that we could kind of pick any car that was on the lot yeah. down this line. Alex came out with the biggest like truck and I was like, no. Take that back. I don't know why I said no. I think I was really scared back then because I'd not really done much. Well, I think it was the... really the first time we'd driven in America. And, and I, I wasn't driving. It was the just The roads you. of LA are a bit crazy. Yes. So I think we were just a bit worried. Although we probably would have got a load of respect on the road, With wouldn't the we? Big. The big But truck. I was just picturing like the People parking situation. I know, yeah. Because parking spaces here in the UK are so small compared to like... LA, you it's, know, like in the in the malls, oh yeah, those, like the underground. But ones, it's funny yeah. they've got like compact spaces and then big ones. Yeah, we're gonna have to start doing that here because everyone here is getting compact SUVs, SUVs. Yeah. Whereas like in the past, you'd go to America to see an SUV, yeah. don't, don't you think? There yeah. wasn't really many here. No, every soccer mum's got yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. We just need Ford Broncos here. I really want a Ford Bronco, and there's one that, with this like most amazing blue color. But like that expensive as it is. But if What's you want, a Ford Bronco, like an SUV. You've seen it. Let me show you a pic. It's beautiful. It's big. Do you need a big car though? No. I, uh, no way would I get a Ford oh, Bronco because it's way too expensive. <clears throat> like that's like a convertible version oh, wow. of it. And we then saw, this is like the new version of it. Yeah. An old school. That's one like the new version mm. of the. the for Bronco, that there is that the new is version. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. And then, yeah, the old versions of them are amazing. I bet you Al, Al Jarman would enjoy oh, that. But yeah, that older version. Uh, See, like in America, so you've cool. had like those for years and like the Jeep Wranglers. Yeah. Whereas like, we're only really getting here. Ooh. <laughs> Fair very well in, in mum's no. bag. No. Actually, it's nice. I'm like this. Ooh. What are you thinking? Because at first it, it was really nice and creamy. Mm -hmm. And then it went a bit weird. You have to take our taste with a pinch of salt because we haven't got it in its pure mm. form. I like the little Smarties in there. I just wish there was some jelly pieces. Mm -hmm. There's a I bit- I thought of... there were. It's crazy how when it's melted a bit thinner, it's so much easier to just eat quickly. Mm. Let me know if you or anyone you know has a full Bronco. I'll be jealous. Cake and rent. See, I didn't get it that time, but maybe it's because I've had a couple of bites. Did you get it? I actually quite, I did. Like initially, like you say, it was creamy. And then I had a really weird flavor. And then actually the more I ate, it was nice. Mm. I think when you eat the Smarties with it, because of the candy shell and the Smarties being different, yeah. I think that always changes the flavor of the chocolate. But I'm actually enjoying that. There's nothing wrong with that, apart from it's missing some jelly pieces. Yeah, that would just like finish it off. Mm -hmm. A little bit of sweet jelly pieces. Just to add a bit of yeah. chew. I would enjoy like a plain chocolate bar mm. if it was dairy milk, but adding like a smarty M&M in mm. there, just like takes it to another layer, doesn't it? It's that bit it's, of crunch. And it's the like the candy coated shell is mm. so nice, isn't it? I love it. So that's really nice. Not my favorite, but I'm giving it like a seven and a half. Yeah, definitely. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Yeah, seven and a half. Eight maybe. So yeah. I'm going to base it on the better piece I had. Yep. So I'm going to say it's seven out of 10. Yeah, very nice. What? A five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Turn of the week. Right, you That's so this. funny. What? The way you, uh, you stopped for me. You should just yeah, because you were talking. On. Yeah, no. Yeah, but I didn't want to interrupt. Yeah. Well, I will have to say my treat of the week yeah. is these. Good call. Because that is also my treat of the yeah, week. Yeah, I knew it would be. I knew it wouldn't be the bobby. It wouldn't be the bobby, no, but it might have been the ketchup squares, but... Like, smell that. It really does smell yeah. like chewing gum. It's delicious. Well, at least we've got a few more of those to enjoy. I know, exactly. Well, yeah, Mum will probably want to be putting them in her bag, but yeah. we'll take like, a few more. just have to say, oh, we have to keep trying them. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, there's none left. <laughs> so that is the end of Croatian Treats Part 1. We will be doing a Part 2 coming up soon, so don't forget to check back if you want to see that. A big thank you to our mum and dad for picking up those treats for us while on their holiday. We won't be sending them a box of British treats, but they do have unlimited access to Candyland, 
which is... What we call where we keep all the boxes yeah. and the treats and stuff. I, I don't know who came up with that, but I really like it. Candyland. I feel like it was Dad. Probably, yeah. But uh, anyway, if you would like to try some British treats, we'll leave a link down below. And Mike, this week, I suggest, inspired by the sweets we've tried yes. today, we've got two options from Barrett. We've got the sour worms and we've got the jelly sharks. These are both absolutely delicious, so I think they're worth a try. Yeah, and uh, this Barrett is like a golden oldie here mm. in the UK. It's like classic, Real classic. sweets. So um, definitely check those out. The lovely soft gummies. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Anyway, we really hope you guys enjoyed watching that and we'll see you soon. Bye guys. See ya.